Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. It's your favorite trichologist Josie over here at Hair Divinity where we talk about all things hair and scalp. And today we're going to be talking about one of the hottest topics in the hair industry and that is hair growth or lack thereof. So I'll be talking about the top three reasons why your hair may be growing slowly. If this sounds like you, then stay tuned. So most people really desire long, beautiful hair. And listen, I ain't mad at it. I like my hair long too. But sometimes that journey may not be as easy and effortless as it seems. I mean, honestly, hair growth is an easy process, but it's also complex. Your hair grows, period. Unless you are dead, your hair grows. But there may be some things that are in the way and that may be hindering that process. So, I'm going to go over the top three reasons why your hair may be growing slow. So, number one is my favorite and kind of the most underrated one, but that is clogged follicles. Follicles are the holes that your hair grows out of, okay? So, for whoever didn't know that, that's what a follicle is, right? But follicles are little holes and when these little holes get filled up with stuff so gunk whether it's dead skin product buildup excess sebum dirt you name it it makes it harder for your hair to push through so a regular open follicle should be like this your hair should be able to grow through like that but if your follicles are clogged your hair is forcing so if you think you want to grow your hair but you only shampooing your hair like once a month or you go get braids and you let them put that jam all over your scalp, all that wax all over your scalp, clogged. If you want to use heavy waxes like grease, clogged, okay? Um, and no shade, you know, you got people who love what they love but I'm talking about everything on this channel from a scientific perspective so yeah no, don't touch it with me. Also, if you are someone who is experiencing a scalp condition like dandruff, psoriasis, um, seborrheic dermatitis, any of those categories, you also can have suffocated follicles due to the scaling and the flakes that appear on your scalp. So, if you aren't properly exfoliating your scalp, and I have a video about that soon, but if you aren't properly exfoliating your scalp or cleansing your scalp, it's going to make your hair growth process slower and it's going to hinder you from reaching your goals. So you want to make sure that your environment, your scalp is in the perfect condition to produce healthy hair. Number two is breakage. Now I know y'all hear about breakage all the time. This one is a little bit more common. However, I'm still going to break it down for you because it is one of the top reasons why people are not retaining length. So think about it. Your hair grows from here and it breaks from here. So your hair is going to constantly be growing. But if this older hair is weak, what's going to happen is it's just going to break, right? So if you're receiving more breakage, then the growth, which is only half an inch per month of normal growth, right? If your hair is breaking more than it's growing, it's going to look short or it's going to look like it's staying the same length. So here's the thing. A lot of people feel like, oh, I don't want to get my hair gym. I don't want to lose my length. I'm going to go into the long spiel about trimming your hair, okay? There should be trims incorporated into your regimen, but it depends on your hair type and your hair goals as well as your lifestyle that will determine how frequent you need your trims. So me, I have fine hair, right? And I like to wear my hair curly. So likely my hair is going to intertwine and tangle more, which is going to cause me to need my trims more frequently, especially because my hair is fine. So it's very easy for the ends to split and then travel upwards. So the way I've been able to retain length is making sure that I handle my hair delicately and I schedule my trims. I think I'm at every I'm at every eight weeks. So scheduling my trims every eight weeks to make sure that about maintenance it's not about shaping the hair it's not about you know taking off length it's literally just maintenance but the longer you go in between those trims that's when they become haircuts and that's when you're like okay what's really going on so finding that perfect balance between healthy growth from the scalp as well as retaining length from the bottom that's going to also get you on a faster track to seeing more length retention and seeing their hair grow past a certain length speaking 
speaking of length I've been growing my hair from my second big chop it'll be three years at the end of this year so I am my hair has grown a lot y'all so comment below if y'all want to see me silk press this <laughs> I don't usually silk press my hair a lot y'all but I do it every year to a year and a half just to check my length and then get a really nice trim but if you want to know more about trims and if you should trim your hair wet dry curly blow dry let me know i can make a video about that too but also again if you want to see me press my hair out let me know i just might do it number three is vitamin deficiencies so that is super underrated y'all so we are so conditioned to think that hair growth is from the outside in so what we put on our scalp etc yes that's part of it but that's not the core of how our hair grows our hair grows from the inside out so you can only produce what your insides have the capacity to produce so for instance think of it like a plant I don't know how many of you are plant moms I am but Plants are planted into soil and then from the soil, the plant grows. But the soil has to be the perfect environment, the perfect water, the perfect nutrients to get that particular plant to grow because not every single plant has the same characteristics and needs. Same thing when it comes to hair. But everyone has different needs when it comes to what their body needs. So we're going to talk about vitamin deficiencies and how they play a role with how your hair may be growing slowly. So first up, vitamin D. Most of us are deficient in vitamin D. D is what helps to fuel new hair growth. It also is part of the building blocks of the hair. So if that thing is missing, it's not going to be the perfect environment for your hair to grow. So lack of vitamin D can cause thinning, it can cause breakage and slow growth. So if your hair or your body doesn't have enough of that to supply the rest of your body as well as your hair, that's when you will see the breakage. Also, iron. A lot of people are iron deficiency or not iron deficiency, iron deficient and they don't realize how that ties into them losing their hair or their hair is thinning or breaking. Now, think about it. Iron is what helps oxygen to go through the body. Your hair, your scalp needs oxygen. It needs blood flow for the hair to grow. So if your scalp isn't getting enough oxygen and enough blood flow due to the lack of iron, then that can also cause your hair to grow slowly. And of course, there are other vitamins and different minerals that your body may be lacking that may be contributing to what you're experiencing with your hair. But the best way to know what you are experiencing and what your body needs is to run a blood panel and that's going to give you a direct view at where your numbers are operating so that you know where you are deficient and how you can supplement so those are my top three reasons why your hair may be growing slowly so if you feel like you fall into this category and you've been trying all the things and for some reason your hair doesn't seem to be growing well hopefully some of these reasons can help shed light to some things you may need to change so that you can get the hair that you desire and if you feel like you need some one-on-one -on -one help from a professional like me a trichologist i do offer virtual consultations and during these consultations, we go one-on-one -on -one and go deep into what you're experiencing and create a treatment plan for you to heal. So if that sounds like something you need, be sure to click that link below. And as always, if you have any questions about anything, any particular topics you want me to cover here on my channel, just let me know and I will put them on my list. I have tons of things to talk about y'all, so I'm pretty sure I could be here forever with y'all. And that's what I hope. So make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and I will see y'all on the next video. Bye.